so today I'm going to be sharing my November favorites. I don't have that many, but I just wanted to, you know, kind of share what my favorites have been, honestly, for the last, like, two months. October, November, so it's like an October, November favorites. But anyway, let's just get right into it. So first things first, I want to mention my new, like, my new favorite foundation. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24-Hour Foundation. Oh... This is so bomb. Like, if you've seen my other videos, I go, like, really ham on, like, this other foundation by L'Oreal, the True Match Foundation. Honestly, like, it is, or it was, a good foundation until I started using this. I actually saw another YouTuber, Luster Lux, on YouTube. She had a video, and she, like, swatched it and everything, and I was like, that looks the bomb. Like, I just loved her video. It was so thorough. So I was like, I'm gonna give that a try. So I went to Shoppers Drug Mart here, purchased it, and I tried it, and oh... Oh my gosh, I like, instantly fell in love and like was obsessed with it. Let me read the description at the back. It is lasting demi matte finish. It lasts up to 24 hours. It is medium coverage and the texture is air light. Honestly, all of these claims are like legit. Oh, and it's oil control, which is like, hello. I have hella oily skin and like this just like, Oh my god, it just keeps me hella matte. Like, I don't even have to touch up. I don't even put setting powder. It just like, like straight from the bottle onto my face. It's good to go. And to go hand in hand with this foundation, I actually use um, the Beauty Blender. Well, I mean, this is not the actual Beauty Blender brand, but I got this from Shoppers Drug Mart as well. And um, if you don't know how to use this, you just soak it underwater and then you squeeze it and then leave it a little damp. Put your foundation on, whatever it is, and then just like, you know, dab. It's dirty, my bad. But yeah, you just dab it, and then it's like the most flawless application you can get. You can like build your coverage. This just makes it so much more flawless and like even. And uh, these two together are like best friends. Like these are, this is like peanut butter and jelly. These two are definitely my November favorites. So moving on from makeup products, I don't really have that many, but I have a few clothing items and shoes that I've been obsessed with the last month. I have these two shoes from Forever 21. I purchased these, I don't know, a long time ago, actually a few months ago. I'm not sure if they're still on the website, but um, I purchased these first. They're the beige ones. I don't know what style they are, but they're like, I don't know, kind of like faux suede-ish. And like, there's like a little strap here. The heels aren't that high at all, which is amazing, but they still obviously give you height. Not that I want it. They're so comfortable. Like, I can wear these for hours at a time, I swear. Like, I go to the mall in these, I go out in these, I go to church in these, I, I can run in these, I work out in these, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, this is really comfortable. This is probably one of my most comfortable heels that I own, and I do have quite a few. They're so, they're so nice and so comfortable. And of course... Like, I'm just that type of person who, if I'm obsessed with something, I have to get it in another color. So, I got it in black. But, like, I ordered them online and I accidentally got the wrong size, but, like, they still fit me. My other ones was seven and then this is six and a half. So, this is, like, it's pretty snug, but, like, I don't mind it. Like, it's not too big of a difference. Um, but yeah, I love these. Look how pretty they are. So pretty! I don't know if they still have it on the website. But if they are, and if you want, I mean, you can go check. But this is definitely my October slash November fave. I know in Canada, um, our falls are kind of like cold, actually really cold. But lately, they've been really mild. So I was I, I was able to get away with, you know, wearing like light clothing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Another one of my favorites is actually being worn right now. It's this um, black duster coat kind of cardigan thing. Uh, it goes down to my ankles. It's um, all black, obviously. Did I say that? Uh, it has pockets, which I love. It is a really lightweight coat, so it's not a coat that you know you can wear in colder weathers, like Canadian normal fall weather. Like I said, our fall here in Canada has actually been really mild, so I've been able to get away with this, which is amazing. So love this. I can probably wear it throughout all four seasons. You can just pop it over your clothes, over a dress, over whatever. Dress it down, dress it up. It's really nice. Lastly is my beige or camel colored uh, waterfall coat. It's this right here. It's from Zara. Uh, this is a size medium. It's wool. It's handmade. It's super, super warm. Like, 
I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't wear this when there's a blizzard outside, but when it's really cold, like, you are, like, legit warm. It kind of, like, you know, falls down your breastuses and stuff. It's, it, it's not that long. It go well, I mean, it goes a little past my knees because I am, like, short. And just let me, let me, let me tell you a little background story on this coat. So, this coat was actually from last year's winter or fall collection from Zara. And I saw it on the website because Zara is one of my favorite websites Like I just, so dangerous and I fell in love with it instantly I showed my mom and I told her that I wanted it she's like okay I get it for you Christmas blah, blah. so I put in my shopping cart and it sold out really quickly and I was like really sad about it because I wanted it for Christmas for myself but um, I just never got the chance to get it because it was always sold out online so I went to the store um, in square one a uh, mall near my area and they had some but um, they, I think they had two but it wasn't my size and like they were dirty and like the what do you call it like the wrap or the tie thing around the waist was ripped and broken I was like oh heck no I'm not buying that so I was kind of disappointed but I, at least I was able to try it on and know my size so I was on the hunt for that and again literally all Zara's in my entire area didn't have it I actually went on a trip to New York with my mom and I searched up and down Manhattan up and down Soho I went to New Jersey all the Zara's I could find and they were all sold out and like I was just so heartbroken so sad and I would, at one point I gave up because I couldn't find it and then comes Christmas Day Manny comes to my you know Christmas party that I have every year at my house with my family he gives me this big box and like when I see it I'm, I honestly didn't even really know what was in it because I gave up on the fact that you know he or anybody would get me this coat so I opened it and I literally died. I wanted to cry because of how happy I was and how he found it. Like, I don't know how he found it. How he managed to get his hands on this stinking coat. But he did. And I was just like, oh. I was just like so happy and so grateful for it. Because like, I, I know I sound like a brat, but I really wanted it. And like, just the fact that Manny got me, I was like, oh my god. But yeah, that's my little story. I hope I didn't go on too long about that. But, but yeah, thanks Manny for getting me this coat, you the bomb. There are a ton of like wannabe looking ones, like, I don't know, cheaper kinds of coats that look like this. Like you can just find it on like, I don't know, like Google it or like, there's actually a website called, I think Kina, Kina Official on Instagram. I don't know, but they, they have like a ton of coats that kind of look similar to this. It's just not the same quality. I just can't compete to this coat. <laughs> this is definitely one of my faves forever but i've been wearing this quite a lot within the last month but yeah that's pretty much it for my november favorites i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope it wasn't like too boring or like too short or annoying and stuff if you did like it give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can go ahead if you don't want to whatever i don't really care follow me on instagram follow me on twitter follow me on snapchat follow me on facebook i do have a facebook page i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. <laughs> so we're behind the scenes of Life with Jerry's oh November faves. <laughs> okay, and action. Make sure you don't get my stinking toe because it broke. More it's like. What you wanna do now? <laughs> holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel. Behind the scenes of Lavager. Gabby's feet! <laughs> so Scared the Ishtar. We're in the process of filming. Oh, that's why you're Mind scenes. Watching. You're in my shot. Oh. <laughs> Takes one step. No, don't actually put these in the vlog. Stop now! <laughs> put these in the vlog, Adi, don't forget. <laughs> we are behind the scenes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh.